And as the industry progresses, I'm thinking new suppliers will come into the channel, right? I mean, do you uh, see that or? For, for sure. I mean, there's, um, I mean, Cox made uh, an investment um, fairly recently, didn't they, into a company that was remanufacturing HV packs. I mean, that's going to happen for sure. Uh, I think there's going to be a really interesting thing that happens with the residual values of the vehicles as well, where the on the road value of the vehicle is less than the value of sticking the pack on the wall of your house, right? You know, and that's that's coming too. Um, it's I, I mostly see positive outcomes for consumers because of retained value. And um, we're not going to be, we will no longer be talking about a valueless, you know, bucket of bolts. Um, there's going to be value in these vehicles all the way to the point where they're just battery packs. Um, and you know, the in, internal refurbishing of vehicles is going to become a, a an important thing too. I do wor- I do worry about how manufacturers think they're going to keep a handle on uh, their own software within a vehicle, which is ten years out from from production. I could, I know they're trying to hang on to those uh, those software installations to generate revenue, but from a personal point of view, I'm not sure how that's going to go. I think it'd be better to hand over some of those OSs to people who run OSs so you don't have to worry about that when you've got a 10-year-old vehicle. So there's a, there's a ton of complexity there. 